Mm. Pick our language, eh? Yeah. English. Yes, I would like to start with English, please. Thank you. Hello there. It is so it is so very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. This is this world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Like this Munchlax. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, and other times we work together. People use Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Choose from the photo lineup. Uh, Lucas with blonde hair seems wrong. Also, so does Dawn. Like, these do not fit. But, uh, I am a boy with the darker, uh, not darkest, but a darker, more tan skin persuasion. So we're gonna go with this one. And, uh, the name, of course, will be Cube. There we go. Your name is Cube. Yes. So, you're Cube. Okay, I meant. A fine name, that is. Oh, God. Now, this boy here, I believe he is your friend. What might, na what might his name be? Uh. I'm gonna call him... Uh, Sam, after my asshole cat. Hi, Sam. He just bit my pant leg. I don't think he appreciated the name. Oh, f I was skipping text, my bad. On your journey, you will meet countless Pokemon and people. I'm sure that along the way you will discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. Now go on and leap into the world of Pokemon. And yes, leap we shall, because we are now in Pokemon... What is it, Brilliant Diamond? Despite the... Despite the, uh... The exploration team's best efforts, the rare oddly colored Pokemon eludes detection. The rumored Red Gyarados failed to appear, even fleeingly, to the crestfallen team. I think that's Lake of Rage. That concludes our special report. Search for the Red Gyarados. Brought to you by Jubilee TV on Nationwide Net. See you next week. Same time, same channel. But yeah, uh, yeah, we're in Pokemon Shining Diamond. Or Brilliant Diamond. But yeah, uh, this game's finally out. I walk slow as hell and like I have a stick up my butt. But yeah, we are, um, we're finally here. Didn't get to get all the Bomberman episodes out, so I'll have to probably put that last episode out. Because, man, I, a lot of stuff went down, but whatever. But we're finally here to play the remake that a lot of people said was dumb. Uh, I'm gonna save. But, uh, yeah, this is, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be real good. Wish you would walk faster. Now, I did start Pearl, so I know a little bit what happened, but yeah. Cute. Sam came, Sam came calling for you a little while ago. I don't know what it was about, but he said it was an emergency. Thanks, Mom. Uh, I don't wanna talk to Sam. Oh yes, Cube. Don't go into the tall grass. Wild Pokemon might attack you. It would be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't, so... Couldn't you just give me one? I also like how... Real talk, she... Like, legitimately, we could have fucking dealt with, uh... Whatever. I, I'm not thinking clear. I'm just sort of hyped for this game. Now, the house we want to go in is this one. 
because this is where Sam lives. And he just runs right into us. What was that about? Oh, hey, Q. Gonna, I'm going to the lake. You should come, too, and be quick about it. Okay, Q, I'm finding you a hundred million Poke Dollars if you're late. Uh, no. No, jeez, I forgot something. So now we have to follow him into his house. <sighs> wow, that mom... You look real sad. I can understand you're Sam's mom, but still. I better take my bag and guidebook, too. Oh, hey, Q. We're going to the lake. I'll be waiting in the road. It's 10 million fine if you're late. I'm not... I can't run. Also, his TV has knobs and shit. Mine has a fucking, like, press and dial on the back that I just said, fuck it, I'm never losing the remote for. Hi. Could rocket it off again as usual. I guess he'll be on route 201 by now. He just can't sit still, that boy. I wonder who he takes after. But yeah, we've all been waiting for this game. Some people said it was going to be pretty bad because of the chibi look, but I don't mind it. So far, everything I've seen looked fine, so whatever. Eh. Hey, you saw the news report on TV, right? You know, search for the Red Gyarados, the mysterious appearance of the furious Pokemon in the lake. It just got me thinking. I'll bet our lake has, po has a Pokemon like that in it, too. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna find a Pokemon like that. We have no Pokemon. What are we supposed to do? Also, I love uh, when someone's following you and you quick turn around, they just teleport. Look, look at that shit. But whatever. Uh, I, I've only gotten to the second gym. Like, I've beaten this game as a kid. And as an adult. I've done some Nuzlocks and randomizers for it. Alright, to the lake. Let's find us a red Gyarados. But, uh, in the, in the Pearl version of this, it's, you know... I, I didn't really get a chance to, uh... I just beat the second gym, actually, like, before I started recording. What's going on? Professor... There isn't anything out of the ordinary on this side, either. Hmm. I may have been mistaken. It appears to be different than it was before, but... Fine. It's enough that we have seen the lake. Dawn, we're leaving. Professor, how are you enjoying being back in Sinnoh after being away for four years? It must be exciting again. Hmm. One thing I can say. There are many rare kinds of Pokemon in Sinnoh. Region should serve us very well in that, re in regard to our studies. Excuse me. Let us pass, please. I beg, I beg your pardon. We'll be on our way. Thank you. What was that about? Those two. Well, they appear to have left something in that bush over there. Oh, Q, let's go check this out. What? What's that? Don't go into the tall grass. No problem, no problem. I've been there long enough for a while Pokemon to come out. I think you understand how Pokemon works, dude. You just show up. Briefcase. Those people forgot it here? What are we supposed to do with it? We can try to return it, but who were they? They didn't say Professor. And that's when we're attacked by some of the coolest starting birds in the uh, series. What's going on? Now, like, Starly's one of the best Pokemon, like, like first route birds to get. Which one do you want, then? Uh, I've already picked. I've been, I've known for months what I was gonna go with. But just to show, we have Piplup, the penguin Pokemon. I despise Piplup. Uh, we have the chimp Pokemon Chimchar. I thought about it, but no. Chimchar isn't really me, and I'm using it on my other playthrough. We're going to be going with the Tiny Weave Pokemon Turtwig. The first Pokemon that I used when I played Diamond and Pearl all those years ago. Let's go, little guy. Show him what you're made of. Encountered a wild Starly. 
Look at how happy this boy is. Oh, I mean this girl. Sorry, ma'am. Jeez. Oh god damn it! I'm gonna have to give her a different nickname because I can't remember. I'll I'll explain when we get to nicknaming this. So they had a nickname all lined up because starters are usually boys. Oh no, that lowered my attack stat. Damn it! Like uh, what was it? Cox? The uh, the the. I can't remember the score bunny that I use in the other game. Usually I use uh, grass. I decided to be different for my first Pokemon playthrough and use a fire type last time. Now I'm going back to my roots. Fwa! Your Turtwig totally rocked. But my Chimchar was way tougher than yours. They were other people's Pokemon. But we had to use them. Those people won't mind, will they? Oh, here's Dawn. Oh, there's the briefcase. The professor would have been furious if I'd lost it. Oh, no. Did, did you use the Pokemon that were in here? Yeah, we, we totally robbed you. I'm sorry. You did? Oh, my gosh. What's the professor going to say? This is not good. I'll take the briefcase for now. And you just let us keep the Pokemon. What was that about? Why did you get mad that we totally stole those rare-ass Pokemon? I don't know what's going on, Q. Let's get out of here. My Pokemon got hurt from the bat. Yeah, the thing you've had for two seconds. If we get attacked by another Pokemon, we might be in trouble. What are you talking? I barely got hit. Obviously, man, you've never played this video game before. You go on ahead. Now we have to return these Pokemon. They're not ours. But I want to spend just a little more time with this little guy. Okay, so first, I want to see. I'm going to keep it, whatever, but, uh, what are we looking at here? Oh, an attack-lowering nature? Uh, I don't know if they have, like, what's it called? Uh, mints like they did in, uh, Sword and Shield, but we'll keep it. I'm not, I'm not playing this competitively, and if I do want to use, uh, uh, competitively... Or fu I mean, Turtwig competitively. Uh, I'll just breed another one. All right, let's continue on our journey with our slow walk. It look like we shuffling. Hey, it's those people. Is that guy staring at us? Hmm. I heard from Dawn that you used our Pokemon. Let me see them, please. Hmm. Turtwig and Chimcha. Hmm, I see. That's how it is. I'm calling all of the police. Don, I'm going back to my lab. So that I can paint my eyebrows back on. Uh, 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 okay, Professor, please wait for me. I think you should visit our lab later. Okay, I'll see you. Okay, see you, I mean. Yeah, it looked like his eyebrows were drawn the hell on. What was that craziness about? I mean, if he was angry, he could have just yelled at us or whatever. Didn't he want his Pokemon back? Dude, we should go home too. Yeah, mom's cooking something up. What's up, dear? Wow, I can't believe all that happened. Happened to you. I am ever glad that both you and Sam are unharmed. That professor you mentioned most likely, Professor Rowan of San Jim Town. I've heard that he's well known for his studies on Pokemon. He's also quite intimidating. You, I think you need to visit him in San Jim Town. You need to properly explain why you had no choice but to use his Pokemon. Don't worry, I'm sure he'll understand. Also, you're grounded. <laughs> oh, I know. Can you put these on? You received a pair of running shoes, thank God. We well, get San Jim Town. It's like. An adventure in itself, right? With those running shoes, you can get to faraway places much faster. Okay, let me read the instructions. Tilt the left stick firmly and dash about faster than ever before. Go on the running shoes and blaze new trails of, of adventure. Isn't that just nifty? Yeah, you just get them... Like, you can't turn them off. This, this is just you now. I mean, you can still walk, but if you... 
It was just you. And thank God, because you were slow as hell before. Okay. Uh, I didn't talk to anybody here because they don't have shit, but let me talk to one person. Hello. Went on an adventure with some Pokemon a long time ago. It's only to the next town, though. Yeah, good times. That sounds, sounds so unfortunate. Like, this is all this is from this man is seed. And out here. Hello. Wild Pokemon lurking in the tall grass. They come out bursting at it. They can come out bursting at any time. If you want some, if you want to battle wild Pokemon, just walk in the tall grass. If you want to avoid wild Pokemon, stay out of the tall grass. Here's the thing about this game. Uh, yeah, you can't see the Pokemon anymore. And here's our first. Uh, other than the Starly, our first Pokemon, Bidoo. Come on, Lady Turtwig. Show them what you're made of. That attack. Oh, in the first grass move, it gets an attack. It's just a normal physical one. That's gonna be unfortunate, but whatever. No, don't do it. My attack's low enough. Come on, Baydoof, with your chocolate. It looks like a chocolate cupcake on his face with a cherry on it. At least that's what I see. Which I'm... I am hungry. I'm gonna level up once. See what else is in this grass. I'll also talk to this lady. Hi, I work at the Pokemart. Did you know that Pokemon's health is measured by hit points or HP for short? If Pokemon runs out of hit points, it faints and can't battle anymore. If Pokemon HP gets low, you should heal it with a potion. Here, let me give you some potions as a sample. These are free. These ones are free. Automatically go into your bag's medicine pocket. Usually, or in the old game, you would get one. I'm giving. I'm guessing she gave me like three. Another Bidoo. All right. So, oh, probably not gonna use a Starly on my team. I'm gonna catch one, but probably won't be using it permanently on my team. I want to break away from that. I want to try like some newer Pokemon's. Oh, there you are. Please come with me. The professor is waiting. This is it. Our Pokemon research lab. Let's go. And he runs right into me again. What the... Oh, it's you. It's you, Cube. That old guy. He's not scary so much as he is totally out there. Doesn't matter. Oh, it doesn't matter. Cube, I'm out of here. See you later. Wow. What was that? Your friend sure seems really impatient. Well, anyways, let's go inside. Fine. You've come, Q. Was it? Let me see that Pokemon again. Hmm, I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Alright then. Give the Turtle Whip to you as a gift. Now, that is yours. Would you like to give it a nickname? Yes! Hold on, though. I need to look up what the name of this uh, character was. Okay, there are two. I'm gonna go with the old one because I don't like the new one. Uh, her name is going to be Ventus from the old Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, live action series <laughs> called, uh, what was it? Like, Out of the Sewer or whatever? Oh, the next mutation, that was it. I don't like the I don't like what they did to uh to Jenka or Jenny in uh the comics. She was cool when she was human. Yep, so Ventus. Sam told me, uh your friend Sam told me what happened at the lake. I heard you battled very well despite being it being your first time. Oh, I clicked off all of my shit. I can't see anything. Hold on. And from there, what I can see, and from what I can see, there is a growing bond between you and that Pokemon. Though it is still young. That's why I would like to entrust the, you with Turtwig. So glad that you're kind towards Pokemon. If you weren't, I'd have to. Oh, I just can't say it. Are you gonna kill me? 
Let's, keep, let's move on to the main topic. There's something I want you to do for me. Please help me fix my eyebrows. My name is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. This is what I ask of, I wish to ask of you. I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. Will you use it to record data on all the Pokemon in Sinnoh for me? Sure. Hmm. Good answer. You've obtained the Pokedex. The Pokedex is a very high-tech device. It will automatically record data to, on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. Cube, I asked you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. Really asking a lot for a ten-year-old, dude. I've got... Oh, she's like, I've got one, too. When you walk up... When you walked up to Route 201 with your Pokemon, what what did you feel? I've lived for 60 long years. Even now, I get a thrill when I'm with a Pokemon. Now, I would... Now you should know there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means... Yeah, we're over, like, a thousand, dude. That means there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go. You, your grand adventure begins now. Pokemon. The Pokemon that I used for the first time was Piplup. If you had chosen Piplup at the lake, we would have had the same Pokemon now. Not that it matters, but anyways, I'm Don. I also helped the professor add pages to the Pokedex. So in a sense, I'm just like you. Just got a little head start on you, that's all. I'll be happy teaching you things. Glad to meet you, Q. Okay, so now we are into the meat and potatoes of this game. Oh, wait, no shit. She's showing us shit. Okay, Cube, I'll act as your mentor. I'm more experienced than you do as a trainer, as a professor's assistant. Okay, follow me. This building with the red roof is the Pokemon Center. It's a place that heals Pokemon that have been hurt in battle. Find a Pokemon Center in most towns. This is a building with a blue roof on it. It's the Pokemon. It's a shop where you can buy and sell items and medicine. Cube, since you're a novice trainer, you won't be able to buy many kinds of merchandise. Don't let it bother you. Oh, that's right, Cube. You don't, don't you need to let your family know that you're going to be helping Professor Rowan? With the Pokedex? You may need to travel pretty far, so I think it's... I think you should let someone know. Oh, before you go, heal up your Pokemon at the Pokemon Center. It'll be a lot less scary that way. Okay, bye now. Okay, bye. I'm buying shit. I ain't gonna fucking. I don't need to heal. I'm a veteran. Uh, I'm buying some Pokeballs. Give me ten of those bad boys. All right, we got a premier ball on the house. Thanks, girl. Oh shit. Okay. How we looking all health? I live. Ventus is strong. Uh, I'm gonna try and see if I can get a bunch of uh, what are they called? Starlies. So, either I'm going to fast forward or I'm going to catch a Starly. That is not a Starly. All right. Okay, okay, okay. We're in it to win it. Level two, don't kill. Please do not kill. Okay. That, that's good. Keep hitting me with the, with the, the, uh, with the shit. With the growl. There we go. I think that's enough. Oh, uh, he did, uh. He dab at me? What was that? I like how violently the Pokeball shakes when it's catching shit now. There we go. Gotcha, Starly was caught. And you get some experience. Star data will be added to the Pokedex. Oh, they flock in great numbers. So small, they flap their wings with great power. Uh, I'm not keeping the Starly. I don't think he's going to be on my team for long. Uh, so I'm not going to give him a nickname. 
Uh, yeah. Ooh. I don't like this one. Playing this like goddamn Paul and the dude. Anyone remember Paul from the show? Dude who was just like releasing shit and they thought he was an asshole. Even though <laughs> He would just play. I, I love. I love that they made the uh, the bad guy for um, Diamond and Pearl. Well, not bad guy, but you know the the quote unquote asshole trainer. He was uh he was just a competitive Pokemon player because he went for the best natures and like best moves. And if they didn't have it, he was releasing that fucking thing. Oh, also experience share is on. It cannot be turned off. Really wish they gave us the option, but sh whatever. Okay. Please be better than the last one. I'll take it. Alright, welcome to the team, Starly 2. Now let's go tell our mom about our grand journey. Oh, you can't run diagonally off the... Okay. Heading back to my house. Going up through this way. Hello, Mom. Welcome home. Are you and your Pokemon healthy? It's still early in the morning. Take a quick rest, dear. What's up, Cube? Wow, Professor Rowan asked you to do something that big? Okay, dear, go for it. Your mom's got your back. Oh, I know, Cube. I got something for you that you'll find useful. Obtain the guidebook. Guidebook and your key item. Guidebook, take a look in it when you're curious about something or have questions. During your adventure, you may find an answer. Be a journey full of adventure, I envy you, kiddo. But you're not alone, you have your Pokemon with you. I wish I can go instead. I'm just joking, Q. I'll be alright. Got myself dear, so you go and enjoy your adventure. When you're exposed to new things and experiences and experience new sensations. It makes your mother happy too. But please come back sometime so I'd like to see the kinds of Pokemon you've caught, dear. Yep, we got the guidebook, a thing that I haven't even used in the other game. Excuse me, is little Sam here? No. Oh, no, he's not. Oh. He must have left already. What to do? That boy shouted about going on an adventure and then he bolted. He's so headstrong and reckless. At least wanted to give him this. Not to worry, Cube will deliver that to him. What the hell? How will I know where he is? Won't you, Cube? I mean... Oh, really? You do that for me? Cube, please take this to Sam for me. Obtain the parcel. I don't know where your son is, ma'am. Bye-bye, Cube. Enjoy your adventure. Let me think. Knowing my boy, he'd probably stop at Ju... He'd probably head straight to Jubilee City. Please take that to my Sam. Great, now I gotta go find this lady's son.